This is Pam, and here's my lovely husband, Bernard. And uh, he's getting ready to make some Turkish coffee. Make some Turkish coffee. Oh, well, we tried this again. <laughs> anyway, I just want to let you know that we wanted to... Oh, it looks like people are joining. That is great. Anyway, um, I wanted you to see um, Bernard in our kitchen. He's getting ready to um, grab the coffee. Want well, to let you know that if you've seen um, several of our broadcasts, you know that my dear husband is French. And the one thing that he loves is coffee. I guess that's something that's definitely a European tradition. So uh, I thought we would um, let you watch him make the coffee. He had had um, Arabic friends and he was introduced to it years and years before we got married. So um, anyway, um, I'll let Bernard go ahead and narrate how he's gonna make this Turkish coffee. Okay, first, um, why we call it Turkish coffee? Why? Because it was invented by the Turk. That's one thing. Now, uh, some countries are almost at war with uh, with the Turk. So the Armenian um, remembers the massacre of Armenian. Mm -hmm. We never call that a Turkish coffee. They call it an Armenian coffee. Mm -hmm. Now in Lebanon they call it a Lebanese coffee. In Algeria, an Algerian coffee. In uh, Morocco, a Moroccan coffee. And uh, and the Jew. In Israel, call it a uh, Jewish coffee. Now, the term coffee in Arabic is kawa, uh, Q A H W A H. And uh, in France, we don't call a cup of Joe, we said sometimes uh, a cup of kawa or kawa or kawa. Anyway, that's what we know. The, the, the coffee beans, we, we don't use coffee beans, we use uh, uh, ground uh, coffee. And uh, if you know what is espresso, the, be uh, the coffee ground, uh, as you could see here on, uh, on, on that thing, is extremely fine. Okay? But that's not good enough to make Turkish coffee. So the Turkish coffee that we buy at the store um, already uh, made as a powder. It's almost a powder. You could see there. You know, it's you know, it's you know, it's a yeah. this is a powder. Okay, that's the type of of coffee we use. So we have to buy it at specialty uh, store, most likely Arabic or uh, Jewish store, and uh, they will give you that. So uh, Pam might explain to you how do we get it if you are living in Tulsa. Yes, um, we were, um, he had been mentioning about, you know, Turkish coffee and different things. And um, we just happened to be driving around. I think we had just gone somewhere to uh, mail a letter at a post office. And there was this little shop in town um, uh, called Jerusalem Market. It's near 51st and Sheridan in Tulsa. And we knew that the shop was there, but we just hadn't, been, we had never gone. And I just said, Bernard, come on, let's just go in this place. And when he went in there and he st started seeing a lot of the uh, products that they had there, it reminded him of a products he could easily get when he lived in New York, uh, where there's just an ethnic, uh, amazing ethnic population of all kinds there. And so he went in there, he saw the coffee, he saw um, uh, um, baklava, baklava um, um, what was the, oh yeah, the... Um, Paste was it? almond paste almond and, and uh, apricot paste. Apricot and, uh, paste, that's the one. Oh. Uh, I'm trying to remember what else. Um, the jam, uh, oh. just all kinds of things. And so um, he found the coffee and he's been drinking it ever since. So we thought we'd just uh, watch him do the coffee. Okay, so. now to do the coffee, I need boiling water, which is already uh, boiling, and I need uh, a special tool. You see the yes, shape of the tool there? Mm -hmm. Okay, which is called a kezve, C-E-Z-V-E, kezve. Okay, I guess that one was given to me by my son, who got it from an Arabic friend. You know, it's, it's really special. And as I, I will explain to you why the shape is like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I am putting two uh, small scoops of the coffee. Okay. Yeah. You can do this at, at your taste level. No, we are to do two. No. <laughs> I put two scoops of sugar. Now here, we are health conscious. We use a turbinado. Uh, sugar. Turbinado brown sugar, raw sugar. Okay. 
And now I pour on the kesve some water, boiling water, not to the top, almost. And I put boiling water in the cup I will use to drink the coffee to make sure my coffee is hot. And now we are going through the boiling process, so we are changing uh, location. Yes. <laughs> And uh, I will start uh, the range and I put the coffee. So when the coffee is boiling, it will create a foam and the powder uh, will come to the top uh, very quickly. And you have to be careful because sometimes it could just explode and go to your, uh, the ceiling, which is not something you want. So I have to uh, watch it very carefully. Yes, you can see it right here. Sure, it's, it's bubbling and you, and, and you will see some kind of a cream, you know, it's coming to it's the starting, top. starting, yeah. You see? There, the cream is coming to the top. And now, with one hand, I am watching the, uh, the fire. There. And you will see it will go up. They're kind of foamy-like up there, a bit yeah. bubbly, and it's beginning to... See, it's beginning to bubble. You might be, hopefully, you can see that. I don't want to get too close here. <laughs> yeah, don't with the burn heat. the camera. Uh, it's normally take... Uh, About a couple of minutes uh, here. <laughs> one or two minutes to do that. But you see, it will, it will come quickly to the top. <laughs> Yeah. That's why I didn't put. Interesting. We just got a phone call on, on our iPhone. We were hoping that it didn't uh, didn't um, disconnect this broadcast here. Look. So see. Now it will regulate. You see the way it goes. See, it was beginning to rise and it was going to the edge of the. Okay. Now we let it go down a little bit, and it will, will go for second boiling. <laughs> see what is on the top. Okay. Here we go again. <laughs> Yeah. This is something that I generally don't watch him do, but this is kind of fascinating. You see? There we go. It's boiling again. Stop it. And we do that three times. Mm hmm Yeah. So you see, it comes to the top. That's all the, the powder. It's coming to the top. And it's uh, some kind of a cream coming to the top. Now I do it for the last time. See, it comes quickly. Yay, yay. So you okay. have to be careful. Okay. okay, that's it. Oops. 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 <laughs> and now since it's very hot. Yes, we use the... I use the mitt. Oven mitt. <laughs> and I empty my, my cup. I add with boiling water. water. And now I pour my coffee, you know, inside. You see how creamy it is, that coffee? Okay. And you see the top now? You see, yeah. as on an espresso. Now, to make it good, really Arabic, I am using uh, rose water. Rose water. Okay, uh, a, a few drops. Okay, yeah. now what you have seen when I make that coffee, I didn't stir the coffee at all. Okay, I didn't stir it now. Mm -hmm. And the sludge or whatever mm -hmm. f will go from the top we we'll go to the bottom mm -hmm. slowly, you know that uh, uh, the, the ground, the ground, and, the sugar and, all that. and it's making a delicious coffee. I will uh, drink in five minutes. Stay about five minutes to settle at uh, the bottom. So you drink it, and uh, when you are close to the bottom, you will see all this residue. But you don't drink this re uh, residue; they just stay there. So oh, anyway, <laughs> smell it. Let's see. Oh, smell oh, it. You can't smell it. Oh, smell it. <laughs> no. Oh, smell it. Oh. Mm. So, that's how you make Turk Turkish coffee. Okay, so it's done. It's done. So, we will end this quick little Periscope broadcast. And we just want to let you know that um, since you're following me on my ID, um, you can also follow my husband, Bernard Dreyer, at Bernard F. Dreyer or just look up his name, Bernard Dreyer. Um, we're both on, uh, we use these handles for, uh, these usernames for Twitter. And uh, we use our real names, our names Bernard Dreyer and Pamela Cook Dreyer on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn if you want to um, find us. Um, if you happen to see this after the 24 hour limit for um, Periscope, 
We'll be posting this video on our blog, Let Go, Let's Go blog, and you can access that or subscribe to it if you have a Google account, um, www.letgoletsgo.com. And we also have a page on Facebook um, where we can, um, where you can um, like it and be notified whenever we post new blog posts there. We do blogs of these broadcasts, but we also do other blogs um, that we just write of things that we're interested in. Anyway, we're glad that you're here and um, we will catch you next time and you all have a wonderful day.